What's up, guys? It's your boy, Goblins, and today we're gonna talk about, or right now, I should say, we're gonna talk about uh, how I play Destiny, how I rock the Crucible all day, or er, day, what I use for button layout, what sensitivity I use, and why I recommend it, or why I like playing those button layouts. Um, yours probably differs from what I play. This is just my opinion on what works best for me. It, honestly, some people like high sensitivity, some people like low sensitivity. There's a lot of pro players that'll pick either or. So I just want to throw that out there that this is purely just what I use. Nothing's better, nothing's worse. It's all the purely whatever works for you, honestly. And now uh, we're just going to go off that. So uh, first off, people ask me about button layouts a lot of the times and ask me, Goblins, Goblins, your boy, which is the best button layout? Um, when it comes to me personally, I pr like Puppeteer a lot. Um, that was my first original button layout that I rocked playing Destiny, and it's because Puppeteer is, kind of feels like tactical button layout for Call of Duty. That was my jam for quite a while, um, and you know, I didn't mind it. It, it, it's, it essentially swaps your circle and your melee attacks, so makes it so that your crouch is your R3 and your melee is your circle. I'm pretty sure if I can remember correctly. It's been a little while. Um, but that's what I rocked in Vanilla Destiny, that's, you know, what I jam to for most of the times. Uh, especially in, like, Call of Duty games, that's essentially what I'm using is tactical button layout. Uh, otherwise, nowadays, I actually use Jumper. Now, Jumper is really cool because you can get better target acquisition uh, as you're moving your joystick. You don't actually have to move your, your thumb off the joystick to hit X to jump. So it actually allows you to have better target acquisition when you're playing Crucible, when you're playing PvE, whatever it is, when you're killing Crota, whatever it is, you have slightly better target acquisition because you can hold onto the joystick while you're actually, you know, jumping and whatnot, which is really cool. So getting the jump on someone, you know, that's, that's huge in Crucible for sure. If you come around a corner jumping, a lot of people don't know how to handle that and they can't really react accordingly, which is something that, you know, it, it, you can take advantage of using jumper essentially. Which is also why I usually rock bo boots of A, A, boots of EO or AO, A, LMAO boots, you know what I'm saying? The alien boots, right? Right? Um, that's what I usually jam to in Crucible is because it gives me a triple jump that is better for directional, um, directional directions? <laughs> better, uh, fuck, what do you call it? <laughs> better uh, control, yeah, better control over your jump when you jump, so it actually makes it a triple jump versus a double jump for uh, Blade Dancing Hunter. Um, so yeah, now for that following up, I, I usually play 10 sensitivity, or the highest sensitivity I can possibly play. Mostly in Destiny because it is a little bit slow to me, I'm usually used to like a very high sensitivity. And that's how I've always been, I've always jammed the higher sensitivity for like, since, since like, like, Call of Duty 4, like, fucking six or seven years ago man like however long ago that's what I jammed to um, it wasn't always like that I used to use this lower sensitivity and actually lower sensitivity a lot of the times will give you better micromanaging for when you're aiming your crosshairs and whatnot so a lot of people will stick with that default destiny setting which honestly I can't hate on that but personally I like to get the the I like to get the the, the turn on people especially when they're uh, when they're behind me and I just quickly turn on them feels really good when you have high sensitivity so and it, of course it's possible um, that's just always been my jam, it's just what I'm used to, I like high sensitivities. Um, the only game I can't really do it in is like Counter-Strike or something like that, because obviously in Counter-Strike you have to have a little bit more, uh, what do you call it, mouse acceleration versus like a higher sensitivity, it usually works a little bit better. So yeah, it's just what I jam to. Uh, otherwise I would say my favorite class right now is the Blade Dancing Hunter. Um, the main reason right now, actually it'll probably change come Taken King, who knows, is because the Blade Dancer can actually prep their weapons a lot faster than anyone else. Um, there's a perk that allows you to whip out your weapons really quick and I believe aim down sights faster? Is that part of that perk? I, I, I actually can't remember. Regardless though, it lets you whip out your weapons a lot faster and when you're in Crucible, it honestly gives you a, a much better tactical advantage because yeah, you can, you can go from sniper to pistol to hand cannon, whatever you got going. Uh, like like in the in a heartbeat, which is super cool. And once again, getting the turn on people, switching weapons, you know, turn around on them, super sick. Get get the lead. That's what I'm talking about right there. Shall I jam? So high sensitivity, aggressive play. Um, I'm all about that life. I'm all about I'm all about super intense like fast gameplay. Always have been. That's why I love certain games out there that are just so fast paced. Anything I can do essentially to make Destiny that game, I will do every single time essentially so once again though come the Taken King who knows maybe things will change up maybe I'll change up my playstyle I don't really know um, but I'm hoping you know there'll be some cool stuff that'll be in store for Taken King I hope the Void Bow uh, class will be something really to look upon but uh, yeah so if you guys are watching this after Taken King came out obviously this is the day before Taken King that I'm talking about right now but right now as of today I, I prefer Blade Dancer that's just my jam always my baby my baby girl you know what I'm saying um, 
I don't like. I don't really like blade dancing though. I like blade dancing. I just I think that there is supers that are more effective out there, and I make the best of what I've got, of course, because that's what I jam to. Otherwise, though, I don't. I, I prefer to you know keep my what is it my intellect pretty low so I can not use my super as much. I just prefer my gunplay. I just like my gunplay, bro. That's all it is. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's all I got to talk about for today, guys. I know you guys have just asked a lot of questions of me recently uh, regarding Crucible, how I play, what my favorite classes and all that stuff come to Taken King. Um, a lot of questions of those have been rolling in. So, yeah. Anyways, with that being said, guys, my name is Gobrins. As I always say, drop a like for your boy, Gobrins, and I'll be back here with more Destiny content shortly talking about the Taken King. Take it easy, guys. Have a general good, and I'll see y'all then. Peace out! Use it over and over again, continuously, every day, all day, Gobrins style, you know what I'm saying? And while we're talking about the hand cannons that got nerfed, of course, there's the thorn as well. And the thorn was like, man, we thought the thorn was going to be broken as fuck. But, like, it, it's still good. It's still, the thorns, you can still rock the thorn, you know what I'm saying? Yeah! Now, as you guys know, of course, we had Arms Day last week.